So I'm Michael Siri from School of Chemical and Pharmaceutical Sciences. And my project really arose out of um, studies I had done in several previous years looking at students who come into our chemistry degree course. About half the students haven't done chemistry, leaving certain <coughs> And it was interesting how did that prior knowledge affect their uh, year old performance. And I found that there was a big difference between the students who had chemistry at Leaving Cert and those who hadn't. So it's different ways of, of um, reducing that difference. So essentially what I did was introduce the idea of getting students to prepare for lectures. This big difference that was in first year didn't follow through to later years. So uh, the hypothesis really was that in first year students were getting a lot of new terminology, a lot of new words that first of all would have to know what, what they meant and second um, know how they related with each other. So the idea of the, the pre-reading was just to introduce key terminology. So before every lecture, students would have to do a short um, resource, an online resource, do a quiz, to, um, which had feedback, and then the committee of the lecture, the lecture would build on that resource. What I looked at then in terms of evaluation was how did the students' performance in their semester tests that they do every year and their end of year exam, uh, how did that change? So I looked at the difference between students who had chemistry and the students who hadn't. So before I introduced these resources, there was uh, I think something like a 15% gap in those average marks between the students who had and had no chemistry. And after that gap completely disappeared uh, last year, the year of the fellowship, and this year again. Um, so that's, that's good news. So if you teach something that has any technical component whatsoever, which I think we all do, I would really recommend and strongly urge you to think about giving students something to do before the lecture rather than after, because that actually helps them a lot. And I should just say thanks to Marcus for giving me uh, all the data. Like, it's a yearly email for me to look through this data, so thanks, Marcus. Okay, thanks very much.